on these exponents that we have, we are asked you to simplify the following expressions, and these are exponents. All right, we are given an example on how to simplify these typical questions that we have given here. Given that three to the exponent of two, when it is multiplying m squared, it is the same as nine, that is from the three squared. Remember that the exponent means the number is multiplying itself the number of times that you're given on the exponent. This is the three, which is multiplying itself two times. So if three is multiplying itself two times, it simply means three times a three, and that is a nine. So meaning to say, we are going to have nine M squared. We have combined this, written it as a single term. So this is what we are given to simplify all these expressions. So meaning to say, if we are given A, that is three to the exponent of five, multiplying B to the exponent of a five. What does it mean? It means that I'm going to write this simplified as three multiplying itself three times three times three times three, five times. And this is going to give us what at the end, this is B, Three, 243 actually. So this will be 243b to the exponent of five. So it is all about that. Can we simplify this? That is the question. Can we simplify this? That is what, that is what the question is all about. Two to the exponent of six multiply two y to the exponent of six. It simply means you're gonna simplify this two to the exponent of a six. All right, so in case like you're in an exam, then you've forgotten this, just use your calculator to multiply two times, two times to the exponent of six. Your calculator is there as a friend in exam. So that is the only friend that you are going to be having in exam. So what I'm simply trying to say is that you can simplify two to the exponent, you press this, F6. So this is going to give us a 64. But there is a y to the exponent of a six, which is remaining. So each and every part that we are seeing here can be simplified using this idea. All right, so if you were to simplify, let us just take number e, you're given three to the exponent of a three, which is multiplied to x to the exponent of three. So this is going to give us three to the exponent of three is gonna multiply itself three times three times three, that's a 27. Three times three, that is nine times three, this is gonna give us a 27. But there is x to the exponent of a three. So you are wondering why is it that they are actually giving us simple questions like this? All right, in exam condition, normally this is what is gonna happen. Instead of you given this condition of this part that you're given, all right, this is six to the exponent of three, it's gonna, gonna simplify. Uh, that it was gonna give something like 216, m to the exponent of seven. So when the exponents are the same, let's say I've got 12 to the exponent of two, a to the exponent of two, which is multiplying, it's like this. This same question that we are seeing here can be asked in this way. 12, a, everything being raised to the exponent of a two. So remember that on our laws of exponents, if we are given something of this nature, x, y to the exponent of n, it follows that everything must be raised to this exponent of n. So this is the condition that exactly we are seeing here. It means that's a product there. So 12 is going to be raised to the exponent of a two, and a also is going to be raised to the exponent of a two. This is what they want you to understand. So now on these questions, they gave us something that is already simplified. But under exam condition, expect something of this nature, where you are given a bracket being raised to the exponent of three, it means that's 12 to the exponent of three times a to the exponent of three. So you're gonna simplify this like that. That is the whole situation of our question. So meaning to say, if we were to simplify this, this one was a straightforward question, we just need 12 squared, which is 12, squared is same as 12 times 12. So if you multiply 12 and 12, that is 144a squared. So like I say, these are typical questions that you must expect in your exam. So I want you to try 
work as much questions as you can on this other activity you are given on this part. Write the following as product of powers. We are given an example like this. We are given an example like this. As powers. So given that 3x to the exponent of 3, if you are given this type of a question, it means that is what that is what, what exactly I was explaining here. That when you're given this exponent, everything must be raised to that exponent that you are given. So everything must be raised to the exponent of a 3. So that means 3 must be raised to the exponent of 3, x also to the exponent of 3. So you will see that at the end, this will be 3 to the exponent of a 3, like this, times x to the exponent of a 3. Remember, we talked about this when it is separate. That is 27x cubed. So this is how you're supposed to answer all these questions that you are seeing here. So if you are given something like this, gh to the exponent of a 4, it means this will be raised to the exponent of 4, h also to the exponent of a 4. Just like that. Just like that. But if there are numbers now to be considered, that means the number has to be affected by that exponent, like what we have on this condition L. That means this is 4 to the exponent of 3, and also x is being raised to the exponent of a 3. So that is it. 4 to the exponent of a 3 is going to give us uh, 64. So that's 64x to the exponent of a 3. So can we try to work out as many questions as we can from these examples that we are given. All right, on this other example, on question number four, write each of the following expressions as an expression with one base. They just need a single base. It means it can be reversed on this condition that we were given before. If we are given a product of two terms raised to the same exponent, it means these two terms were multiplying it, it itself, like they were multiplying each other raised to the exponent of n. So if I understand this, I can separate something like 2 to the exponent of a 3 times 3 to the exponent of a 3. Because I'm having the exponent of a 3, exponent of a 3, which is the same exponent, just like what we are given on this situation here n and n. If these two exponents are the same, it means these two are being multiplied under the same exponent of n. So there is 3, there is 3. So this means it was 2 times 3, everything to the exponent of 3, which is the same exponent that we are seeing there. So these can be multiplied together. All right, x, y means a product. Multiply 2 times 3, that is 6, being raised to the exponent of a 3. So that's a single base. That's a single base at the end. So these are the typical questions that you're given. If you are to check properly, you will see that all these numbers that you're given here, they are written in terms of the same exponents. The exponents are the same. So considering question number one, which is 4a, we are given 3 to the exponent over 2 times 5 to the exponent of a 2. How can we write this as an expression with one base? We just need a single base. Everything is raised to the exponent of a 2, so it means we can multiply these two numbers together raised to the exponent of a 2. And that means 3 times 5 is going to give us a 15 being raised to the exponent of a 2. That's a single base. We just have 15. So this is what you're going to do on all these numbers. If you check what we are given on C, there's a 7 to the exponent of a 4 times 4 to the exponent of a 4. As long as these powers are the same, you can multiply these numbers together, 7 and a 4. The 7 and a 4 being raised to the same exponent, which is to the exponent of a 4. So we can multiply these numbers 7 times 4, that is 28, to the exponent of a 4. That's a single exponent. So this is just rewriting our answers. So this is what I want you to do, these questions that you're given on question number 4. On question number 4, can we try as many questions? Like I said, where there's a challenge, let us communicate so that we can work on those questions.